Oh. Holy black on a popo! What is that? Sweetie, roll out the con. I think we have a visitor. Is she colored? I'm not sure. I never opened my eyes. Just look at him, wearing his underwear on the outside. I bet it chafes. Don't be so sure. Hmm? I sense him. He's strong. Stronger than anyone I've ever fought. Are you serious? Finally, someone as strong as me! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard he's an alien! Alien? It's only a matter of time before he destroys the planet! Oh, look, Vegeta, it's a Namekian! Hey, I take offense to that! He's referring to me, you idiot, and it's not an insult. The Namekians are a fine, proud race of- That means he doesn't have a penis, right, Vegeta? <laughs> oh, great, Iguana Street! Now I'm gonna get mugged! But joke's on them, I have no money! Ah! Hold on a minute! I know now! I know what he is! He's a- Do not say Yoshi! I'ma still think it. Namekian Goku! Namekian! A super Namekian Mike! Who's here to rule over your planet! Apparently he is the banished other half of the Grand Elder Namekian! Who became too old and defected to fight! But now he has used the Dragon Balls to return himself to his pride! Hold on a second! Now I may not be the brightest knife in the crayon box, but that sure sounds a lot like- <laughs> Hey! You wouldn't be related to King Piccolo, would you? I hope that doesn't sound racist, so I gotta be careful about that. We're still in the Guana Street. Now, are you trying to buy time, or are you just looking to throw your life away? Because if I remember correctly... This did not go well for you last time. Oh, I'm not the same Namekian you faced before. Oh. Oh, shit, are you talking metaphorically? Because if not, I'm gonna start feeling like a racist because you look exactly the same. I can't believe we came all the way out here and spent a week in the space boonies for nothing. Seriously, I'm surprised we didn't hear banjos on the way in because everybody's inbred and looks the fucking same. This is my people's sacred battleground. We flew over an hour for this? It looks exactly the same as everywhere else in this godforsaken rock. Hmm, <laughs> racist. Well, maybe so, but I can't quite be a racist against a race that doesn't exist. Like the Clawfors. Dirty money-grabbing clawfors. Try to claw me right out of my money. Blew those little bastards up is what I did. You ever think about buying a house? Oh yeah, let me get right on that with all that money I don't have. Well, you ever thought about getting a job? I'm a green slug man. No amount of affirmative action is going to get me a job. Hey, Dad, how are things coming along? Well, I'm working on your translator, but all I can get it to do is translate the Namekian into another language I don't understand. Oi, there, Arimas! Damn, Moonspeak! <laughs> Finally, we're rid of all those dang yeah. Dad! I was gonna say Namekians! No, you weren't. No, I wasn't. <laughs> See, this is why women shouldn't drive! Oh, right. This coming from the Asian. Well, I'm half Saiyan. What does that make me? Fuck! Oh, there's my sweet little half-breed grandbaby. So, how's the detonator coming along? It's coming. But did you look at Dr. Jerome's notes? As it turns out, he only attributes model numbers to his successful projects. The crazy bastard was kidnapping dozens of orphan teenagers and experimenting on them. Oh, come now, you can't kidnap an orphan. They weren't wanted in the first place. As a side, that's kind of brilliant. Interesting that he set explosives in their chest like this, though. Must have been a failsafe, or in case they went rogue. Oh, he does that to strangers, and it's fine, but I want to do it to my own children, and your mother gets all uppity. Dad, any more talk like that, and you don't get to hold trunks anymore. Hmm. Wouldn't be talking so mighty if you had a bomb in your chest. The detonator's almost finished. Sorry, hard to hear you over the baby. He sure does cry a lot. Do you think he gets that from his monkey side? Dad, no racism in front of trunks. Oh, come on, I'm using monkey unironically here. Uh, I mean, mostly. Half and half. Kind of like the baby. Wait a second. Did you build a ginger android? Man, there's a Solus machine joke there. But that's beneath me. <laughs> that's cute. You're oh. cute. Have fun living to not fight another day. The hell was that? You got a thing for dwarves now? What if I do? Societal definitions of beauty are BS anyway. Look, if this is about pissing off mom and dad, you could just date a black guy. Oh my god. Oh, right, they're dead. Oh my god! So, what's your detective? He could not quite tolerate my dulcet tones, my choice in vernacular, and my particular method of... articulation. Also, you talk funny. What about him? <laughs> Alright, but what about the small one? Is it because he's purple? Okay, racist, if you must know. It's because he's got a drinking problem. It's only a problem when I run out. We don't like to talk about it. Now, I don't mean to make this about your color or your race, but you better hightail it out of here before you get hurt, boy. You know, it feels like it's about both those things when you end it with the word boy. No, 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 the lids are surely gonna show racism over this one, but this is just what happens when you elect a dog as king.